been making jewelry since not very long, since Christmas actually, um, for a do-it-yourself Christmas gift for um, my cousin's wife who wanted earrings for Christmas. So I made her some earrings and ever since then I've kind of been into making earrings and making jewelry. about metals and raw metals that um, are very appealing to me to be able to make something out of something that is just kind of in a form that you wouldn't really think could be something beautiful. Um, I like to form it and to hammer it, uh, to oxidize it is probably one of my favorite things. I love oxidized silver um, and I love gemstones. So anything really kind of sparkly, beautiful colors, that's all very natural. Um, to the earth. I really love the way that the colors complement the metal and the way that it looks when it's all put together. And so really when I'm making something, I put it all out and I kind of just, I don't really have a plan when I, when I create. I just put it in front of me, look at kind of how it kind of goes together um, and just create from there and just build upon what I have until it's something that I'm, I feel is finished. Natural color is, is what I think is just so fascinating. Um, if you go outside and you just see beautiful colors, I mean, that's not man made, it's just there and it's everywhere. And the fact that you can find that in a gemstone or you can find that in a manipulated piece of metal, I think is just really fantastic and awesome. And I just like being able to see those colors and think about what kind of form would be taken on around it to make a piece of jewelry. Right now, I'm a, a PhD student in neuroscience. So um, this, is a, this is fun for me. I like making things. It is a really great way for me to kind of decompress from all the work that I'm doing um, at school and with my research. Past RAW members and artists have um, actually inspired me to look into the RAW experience and to um, apply to be a raw artist. And I think that, I mean, what it's doing with all of the different artists, especially within the state of Connecticut, which is a very small state, um, it, I think that it's very exciting to, to meet other people who share the same interests and who like to create things and, it, and to remember that art isn't this forgotten thing that's thrown to the wayside, but it's something that's really a part of all of us and that we can kind of express. I am Petite Mouse, and you can get information on my work through Facebook, uh, which is facebook.com slash Petite Mouse, P-E-T-I-T-E-M-A-U-S. So a little bit of French and a little bit of German in there. Um, and on Etsy at etsy.com slash shop slash Petite Mouse. I am Petite Mouse, and I am a raw artist.